the foundation of modern lubricants, an overview. The development of lubricants has been intertwined with the evolution of the automobile itself. In this chapter, we'll look at the history of lubricants and how they have adapted to meet the changing demands of vehicles over time. From early whale oils used in steam engines to today's fully synthetic blends designed for high-performance engines, the journey of lubricants is fascinating. We'll explore the transition from mineral-based oils to synthetic alternatives, the role of additives in enhancing oil performance, and the environmental considerations driving current lubricant innovations. Automotive lubricants serve multiple critical functions, including minimizing friction, cooling engine parts, preventing corrosion, and reducing wear. As engine designs became more complex, lubricants evolved to meet new requirements. Today, automakers design specific oils for different parts of the vehicle, and these oils often contain additives that improve their ability to perform under extreme temperatures or high pressure. We'll also touch on the different categories of lubricants, engine oils, transmission fluids, coolants, and greases, each designed for a particular set of applications. You'll learn why it's crucial to differentiate between these and why universal oils that claim to do it all may actually compromise your vehicle's performance. Furthermore, this chapter will lay the groundwork for understanding the regulatory landscape surrounding lubricants. International standards like those set by API, ILSAC, and ASAE ensure that oils meet stringent performance criteria, but not all oils are created equal. We'll discuss how these standards impact you as a vehicle owner and why sticking to certified products can safeguard your vehicle. In addition to understanding the history and functions of lubricants, this chapter will provide practical advice on how to choose the right oil for your vehicle. From deciphering the viscosity grade to recognizing certifications, we'll arm you with the knowledge to confidently navigate the often confusing oil aisle at your local auto parts store. By the end of this chapter, you'll have a clear understanding of why automotive lubricants are so important and how they've developed in tandem with the automotive industry to ensure our vehicles run smoothly and efficiently, no matter the conditions. Understanding viscosity, how oil thickness affects your engine. Viscosity is one of the most crucial properties of any lubricant. It determines how well an oil will flow through the engine's internal parts under varying temperatures and conditions. In simpler terms, viscosity is the resistance of the oil to flow. If the oil is too thick, it won't flow freely, leading to poor lubrication. If it's too thin, it won't protect engine components as effectively. This balance is essential for maintaining the longevity and performance of your vehicle. The Science Behind Viscosity To understand viscosity in automotive lubricants, it's important to look at how oil behaves under different temperatures. When cold, oils generally thicken, slowing down their flow. This can delay how quickly vital engine parts are lubricated after startup, which is particularly concerning in cold climates. Conversely, oils thin out when exposed to high temperatures, such as those inside a running engine. If the oil becomes too thin, it might not create the necessary protective barrier between moving parts, leading to increased friction and wear. Viscosity Grades Explain Viscosity is measured by the Society of Automotive Engineers, SAE, and categorized into different grades, which you'll recognize from oil labels like 5 watts minus 30, 10 watts minus 40, and so on. These labels indicate how an oil performs in both cold and hot conditions. The W stands for winter, and the number preceding it, for example, 5 watts, represents the oil's thickness in cold weather. The number after the W, for example, 30, represents the oil's viscosity at the engine's normal operating temperature. For example, an oil labeled 5 watts minus 30 will flow like an SAE 5 grade oil in cold conditions and perform like an SAE 30 grade oil when the engine is hot. This multi-grade oil is designed to adapt to various temperature ranges, offering protection in both summer and winter. Why viscosity matters to your engine Choosing the correct oil viscosity is key to ensuring your vehicle runs efficiently. Thicker oils, like 10 watts minus 40, are often used in older cars or in warmer climates, where high temperatures can thin out oil. On the other hand, thinner oils, like 5 watts minus 20, are better suited for modern engines and colder conditions, allowing the oil to circulate more quickly after startup. Modern engines, with their tighter tolerances and higher operating temperatures, often require thinner oils. These oils reduce friction, improve fuel efficiency, and reduce wear on engine components. Using the wrong viscosity can have serious consequences. If the oil is too thick, it might not reach critical engine parts quickly enough, leading to increased wear. If too thin, the oil may fail to maintain a sufficient protective film between moving components, causing damage. How to choose the right viscosity Your vehicle's manual is the best source for determining the correct oil viscosity. The manufacturer knows the engine's design and performance requirements and will recommend the oil viscosity that offers the best balance between protection and performance. Additionally, many modern oils are formulated to meet specific OEM standards, ensuring that the oil will perform as intended in your vehicle. In summary, viscosity affects how well an oil protects your engine. Too thick or too thin oil can compromise performance, fuel efficiency, and the lifespan of your vehicle. By following the manufacturer's recommendations and understanding the basics of viscosity, you can ensure your vehicle stays well lubricated and protected in any condition. OEM versus generic lubricants, why certification matters. When it comes to automotive lubricants, not all oils are created equal. One of the most important distinctions to understand is the difference between OEM, original equipment manufacturer, certified lubricants, and generic lubricants. Using OEM approved oils can extend your vehicle's life and maintain its warranty, while using generic oils could lead to poor performance, increased wear, or even engine damage. The importance of OEM certification. Automobile manufacturers spend significant resources developing engines that perform under a wide range of conditions. To ensure these engines operate at peak efficiency, OEMs create strict guidelines for the types of lubricants that should be used. These guidelines often specify the chemical properties, viscosity, and performance standards that oils must meet. OEM certified oils undergo rigorous testing to ensure they perform as required. This testing includes stress tests at extreme temperatures, performance under heavy loads, and long-term durability assessments. These oils are formulated to work in harmony with specific engine designs, ensuring that critical components like the crankshaft, pistons, and valve trains are well protected. The risks of using generic oils. While generic oils may appear cheaper, they often do not meet the stringent standards set by OEMs. Some generic oils may lack the additives necessary to protect against wear, deposits, and corrosion, or may break down faster than certified oils. This can lead to higher engine temperatures, increased friction, and a buildup of harmful deposits inside the engine. Additionally, many car manufacturers state explicitly in their warranty terms that using non-OEM certified oils can void your vehicle's warranty. If an engine failure occurs due to the use of an improper lubricant, you could be responsible for the full cost of repairs. Choosing the right OEM oil. To ensure you're using the correct oil for your vehicle, consult your owner's manual or speak to an authorized service provider. 
These resources will provide you with the exact specifications your vehicle requires. In many cases, you'll find that major oil brands offer products that meet or exceed OEM standards. Some well-known certification bodies, like the American Petroleum Institute, API, and the European Automobile Manufacturers Association, ACEA, also provide certification labels that indicate whether an oil meets OEM specifications. Always check the label to ensure that the oil you're purchasing carries the appropriate certifications for your vehicle. The role of additives in motor oils, enhancing performance and longevity. While base oils form the backbone of any lubricant, additives are what truly define an oil's performance. Additives are chemical compounds mixed with the base oil to improve certain properties and enhance the oil's ability to protect the engine. Types of additives and their functions. Detergents. Detergents help prevent the buildup of deposits and keep the engine clean. They neutralize acidic byproducts that can form during combustion, preventing corrosion and sludge formation. Dispersants. These additives prevent solid particles, such as soot or dirt, from clumping together and forming sludge. Dispersants keep these particles suspended in the oil until they are filtered out or drained during an oil change. Anti-wear agents. These additives form a protective barrier on metal surfaces, reducing friction and wear. They're particularly important in protecting high-stress components like camshafts and valve lifters. Friction modifiers. Friction modifiers reduce the friction between engine parts, improving fuel economy and reducing heat generation. Antioxidants. These additives prevent oil oxidation, which occurs when oil breaks down due to exposure to high temperatures. Oxidation can lead to the formation of sludge and varnish, reducing the oil's effectiveness. Corrosion inhibitors. Corrosion inhibitors protect metal surfaces from rust and corrosion, particularly in areas of the engine that are exposed to moisture. High temperature, high shear, HTHS, oils, balancing fuel economy and engine protection. In the modern automotive industry, fuel efficiency and environmental protection are two critical areas of focus. One of the key innovations helping automakers meet stringent emission standards while ensuring engine durability is the development of high temperature, high shear, HTHS, oils. These oils are specifically designed to operate under extreme conditions, offering both reduced viscosity for fuel savings and sufficient protection for engine components under stress. What is HTHS viscosity? HTHS viscosity refers to the oil's resistance to thinning at high temperatures and under severe shear conditions, such as those experienced in the tight clearances of modern engines. It's a measure of the oil's ability to maintain a protective film between moving parts, even under extreme stress. While low viscosity oils can improve fuel economy by reducing internal friction, they also risk being too thin to provide adequate protection. This is where HTHS oils strike a balance. In essence, HTHS oils ensure that despite their thin nature, they don't break down too easily when subjected to high engine loads and temperatures. This is critical in engines where parts are moving at high speeds and generating considerable heat, such as in performance vehicles or heavy-duty diesel engines. The role of HTHS in fuel economy. One of the driving forces behind the development of HTHS oils is the push for better fuel economy. By lowering the viscosity of the oil, friction within the engine is reduced, allowing it to operate more efficiently. However, simply using a low viscosity oil can result in insufficient protection for the engine's critical components, particularly under high stress conditions. HTHS oils offer a solution by providing the necessary protection while maintaining the fuel saving benefits of low viscosity formulations. For example, many automakers now specify oils with HTHS viscosity in the 2.9 to 3.5 CP center poise range, which ensures both fuel economy and engine durability. Oils with higher HTHS values are often used in diesel engines or performance vehicles where protection is more critical than marginal fuel savings. How HTHS oils protect your engine In high-performance and heavy-duty applications, engines generate intense heat and friction. This can cause ordinary low-viscosity oils to thin out too much, leading to metal-to-metal -metal contact and increased wear. HTHS oils are formulated to resist thinning, even when subjected to the sheer forces of fast-moving engine components. HTHS oils also excel in maintaining a stable lubricating film under extreme conditions, ensuring that vital engine parts like bearings, camshafts, and crankshafts are protected from excessive wear. This stability is particularly important in engines designed for high power output, such as turbocharged or direct injected engines. Choosing the right HTHS oil. When selecting oil for your vehicle, it's essential to consult your owner's manual to see if HTHS viscosity is specified. Many modern vehicles, especially those built to meet stringent emission standards, require HTHS oils to ensure optimal performance and longevity. Be cautious when choosing oils based solely on their low viscosity for fuel savings, as not all low viscosity oils meet the HTHS standards needed for adequate protection under stress. In summary, HTHS oils offer a perfect balance between improving fuel economy and protecting high stress engine components. Their ability to withstand extreme conditions makes them an excellent choice for modern engines, ensuring that you don't have to sacrifice protection for efficiency. Understanding API classifications, decoding the symbols on your oil can. The American Petroleum Institute, API, is one of the most important organizations in the world of automotive lubricants. The API's classification system helps consumers and professionals alike ensure they're using the right oil for their vehicle. Whether you're shopping for engine oil or working with a mechanic, understanding these symbols can make all the difference in keeping your engine healthy and efficient. API service categories explain the API classifies oils into two main categories. S-series, spark ignition, these oils are designed for gasoline engines. Categories include SA, for pre-1930 engines, without additives. SJ, introduced in 1996, for engines up to that era. SL, introduced in 2001, offering improved performance and compatibility with advanced emission systems. SN and SN Plus, introduced in 2010, with even stricter emissions and fuel economy standards, along with protection against low-speed pre-ignition, LSBI. C-Series, compression ignition, these oils are formulated for diesel engines. Categories include CA, introduced in 1959, for engines built up to that time. CJ4, introduced in 2006, designed for modern engines that use exhaust after treatment systems. CK4 and FA4, introduced in 2017, for high-performance, low-emission diesel engines. These categories are continually updated to reflect new technologies in engine design and oil formulation. Most modern vehicles require SN or CK4 oils, but it's always a good idea to check your owner's manual to ensure compatibility. What does the donut symbol mean? In addition to the letter classification, API oils are often marked with the donut symbol on the container. This symbol is divided into three sections. 
Top of the donut displays the API service classification, for example, SN or CK4. Center of the donut indicates the oil's viscosity grade, for example, 5 watts minus 30. Bottom of the donut shows whether the oil meets energy conserving or resource conserving standards. The presence of this donut symbol indicates that the oil has passed API's rigorous testing and certification process, ensuring it meets the necessary standards for protecting your engine. The importance of ILSAC certifications. Another important certification to look for on your oil container is the International Lubricant Standardization and Approval Committee, ILSAC, symbol. ILSAC was created by the American Automobile Manufacturers Association, AAMA, and the Japan Automobile Manufacturers Association, JAMA, to develop global oil standards. ILSAC classifications, such as GF5 and GF6, are designed to improve fuel economy, reduce emissions, and protect against LSBI. ILSAC certified oils are especially important for vehicles equipped with advanced emission systems and turbocharged engines. SAS standards for European vehicles. For European vehicles, oil standards are governed by the Association des Constructeurs Européens d'Automobile, ACEA. ASEA's classifications focus more on diesel engines and European emission standards. Some common ASEA classifications include ASEA A1 B1 for passenger cars and light duty diesel engines, ASEA C3 for vehicles with advanced exhaust after treatment systems, ASEA E7 for heavy duty diesel engines. Manufacturers like Mercedes Benz, BMW, and Volkswagen often require oils that meet specific ASEA standards, so it's important to check your owner's manual or speak to your dealership when choosing oil for a European vehicle. API versus OEM requirements. While API and ILSAC certifications are important, they are not always enough. Many automakers have their own proprietary oil standards that go beyond what's required by API or ILSAC. For example, General Motors uses its DEXO certification, which sets even stricter standards for oil performance, particularly in turbocharged engines. Using oil that meets both API slash ILSAC standards and your vehicle manufacturer's proprietary standards is the best way to ensure optimal performance and protect your engine. The evolution of engine oil, how technology is shaping lubricant formulations. The engine oils of today bear little resemblance to those used just a few decades ago. As vehicles have become more advanced, the demands on motor oil have also increased. From protecting against wear in high-performance engines to enhancing fuel economy and reducing emissions, modern oil formulations are at the cutting edge of technology. The role of additives in modern oils. One of the most significant developments in oil technology has been the introduction of additives. Additives are chemical compounds mixed with base oils to enhance their performance and protect the engine. They serve multiple purposes, including reducing wear, preventing sludge buildup, and improving fuel economy. Common oil additives include detergents, clean engine parts by removing deposits and preventing sludge. Anti-wear agents protect critical parts like the camshaft and cylinder walls from friction and wear. Viscosity improvers help maintain the oil's thickness at varying temperatures, ensuring it flows smoothly in cold weather while providing adequate protection in high heat conditions. Dispersants keep contaminants suspended in the oil so they can be filtered out, rather than forming harmful deposits inside the engine. The impact of synthetic oils. Synthetic oils have transformed the lubricant landscape. These oils are chemically engineered to provide superior performance, particularly in extreme temperatures and conditions. Unlike conventional oils, which are derived from crude oil, synthetic oils are manufactured to be more stable and efficient. Benefits of synthetic oils include better high temperature stability, synthetic oils maintain their protective properties even in the extreme heat generated by high performance engines. Reduce tension wear, they create a stronger film between moving parts, reducing the risk of metal to metal contact. Improved fuel efficiency, synthetic oils flow more easily, reducing friction within the engine and improving fuel economy. Extended oil change intervals, many synthetic oils can last up to 15,000 miles between changes, which is significantly longer than conventional oils. Oil viscosity, why the right thickness matters. Viscosity is one of the most important factors to consider when choosing engine oil. It refers to the oil's resistance to flow. The right viscosity ensures that the oil can circulate throughout the engine and provide a protective barrier between moving parts, reducing friction and wear. Understanding SAE grades. The Society of Automotive Engineers, SAE, developed a grading system for oil viscosity. The numbers you see on oil containers, for example, 5 watts minus 30, represent the oil's viscosity at different temperatures. The first number indicates how well the oil flows at low temperatures. The lower the number, the better the oil performs in cold weather. For example, 5 watts oil flows better in winter than 10 watts oil. The second number refers to the oil's viscosity at high temperatures. High numbers indicate that the oil will remain thicker and provide better protection when the engine is running hot. The importance of multi-grade oils. Multi-grade oils, such as 5 watts minus 30 or 10 watts minus 40, are designed to provide the best of both worlds. They offer excellent performance in cold starts, while still providing the necessary protection when the engine reaches high operating temperatures. This makes them suitable for use year-round, in a wide range of climates. Protecting turbocharged engines, special considerations for high-performance vehicles. Turbocharged engines are becoming more common as automakers seek to boost performance while maintaining fuel efficiency. However, turbochargers place extra strain on engine oil, as they operate at extremely high temperatures and require rapid lubrication. The role of oil in turbocharged engines. Turbochargers are powered by the engine's exhaust gases, which can reach temperatures as high as 1000 degrees Celsius. This extreme heat puts a significant amount of stress on the oil, which is responsible for cooling and lubricating the turbocharger. If the oil breaks down or becomes too thick, it can cause turbo failure, which is costly to repair. Choosing the right oil for turbocharged engines. Turbocharged engines require oils with high thermal stability and resistance to oxidation. Many automakers recommend using full synthetic oils, which are better suited to handle the demands of turbochargers. It's also important to follow the manufacturer's recommended oil change intervals, as neglected oil can lead to turbocharger damage. Oil filters, an essential component of your engine's lifeline. While oil plays a vital role in keeping your engine running smoothly, it would be ineffective without a quality oil filter. Oil filters are designed to trap contaminants and debris that can accumulate in the oil over time. How oil filters work. As oil circulates through the engine, it picks up dirt, metal particles, and other contaminants. The oil filter captures these particles, preventing them from causing damage to the engine. Over time, the filter becomes clogged with debris, which is why it's important to replace the filter regularly. 
Choosing the right oil filter. Not all oil filters are created equal. The type of oil filter you need depends on your vehicle's make and model. High performance and turbocharged engines, in particular, may require premium filters that offer better filtration and flow rates. It's also important to replace the filter with every oil change to ensure maximum engine protection. Chapter 11, Emission Control and Lubricants, How Modern Oils Help Reduce Pollution. Environmental concerns have led to stricter emissions regulations worldwide. Lubricants play a significant role in helping vehicles meet these standards by reducing friction and improving fuel efficiency. Low SAPS Oils. One of the key developments in emission control is the use of low SAPS, sulfated ash, phosphorus, and sulfur oils. These oils are designed to protect the engine's emission systems, such as catalytic converters and particulate filters, by reducing the buildup of harmful deposits. Low SAPS oils are particularly important for vehicles equipped with diesel particulate filters, DPFs, which can become clogged if the wrong oil is used. How lubricants reduce CO2 emissions. By reducing friction within the engine, modern oils help vehicles achieve better fuel economy, which in turn lowers CO2 emissions. This is especially important in regions where governments impose fines based on vehicle emissions, such as the European Union. Using the right oil can not only protect your engine but also help you stay compliant with environmental regulations. Transmission fluids, the lifeblood of your gearbox. While engine oil often gets the most attention, transmission fluid is just as important for keeping your vehicle running smoothly. Transmission fluids are responsible for lubricating the gears, bearings, and other components of the transmission. Automatic versus manual transmission fluids. Transmission fluids come in different formulations depending on whether your vehicle has a manual or automatic transmission. Automatic transmission fluids, ATFs, are designed to work in high-pressure environments and often include friction modifiers to improve shifting performance. Manual transmission fluids are typically thicker and provide better protection for the gears. When to change a transmission fluid. Unlike engine oil, transmission fluid doesn't need to be changed as frequently. However, it's still important to follow your vehicle manufacturer's recommended maintenance schedule. Neglecting transmission fluid can lead to poor shifting performance, overheating, and even transmission failure. Coolant and antifreeze, protecting your engine from the elements. Coolant, also known as antifreeze, is another critical fluid that often gets overlooked. Coolant is responsible for regulating the engine's temperature, preventing it from overheating in the summer and freezing in the winter. The role of coolant in your engine. Coolant circulates through the engine and absorbs heat, which is then released through the radiator. In addition to preventing overheating, coolant also protects the engine from corrosion and helps maintain optimal operating temperatures. Types of coolant. There are several different types of coolant, including an organic additive technology, IAT, organic additive technology, OAT, and hybrid organic additive technology, HOAT. Each type has its own unique properties, and it's important to use the type recommended by your vehicle manufacturer. Synthetic versus conventional oils, what's right for you? One of the most common questions among vehicle owners is whether to use synthetic or conventional oil. Both types have their advantages and drawbacks, and the right choice depends on your vehicle, driving habits, and climate. Benefits of synthetic oil. As mentioned earlier, synthetic oils offer superior performance in extreme temperatures and under heavy loads. They provide better protection against engine wear, reduce sludge buildup, and can extend the life of your engine. For high performance and turbocharged engines, synthetic oil is often the best choice. When conventional oil is a good choice. Conventional oil is less expensive than synthetic oil and is often sufficient for older vehicles or those that don't experience extreme driving conditions. If your vehicle doesn't require synthetic oil, conventional oil can still provide adequate protection when changed regularly. The future of lubricants, what's next for engine oil? As technology continues to advance, so too will the lubricants that keep our engines running smoothly. The future of engine oil is likely to be shaped by several key trends, including the rise of electric vehicles, stricter emission standards, and the push for greater fuel efficiency. The impact of electric vehicles, EVs. As electric vehicles become more common, the need for traditional engine oils will decrease. However, EVs still require lubricants for components like the transmission, electric motors, and cooling systems. As a result, we can expect to see the development of new types of lubricants specifically designed for EVs. Bio-based oils and sustainability. Environmental concerns are also driving the development of bio-based oils, which are made from renewable resources like vegetable oils. These oils offer similar performance to conventional oils but with a small environmental footprint. As sustainability becomes more important to consumers and regulators, bio-based oils are likely to play a bigger role in the lubricants industry. Advanced additives for improved performance. The future of engine oil will also see the introduction of more advanced additives that can improve fuel efficiency, reduce emissions, and extend the life of engine components. These additives will help lubricants keep pace with the demands of modern engines, which are becoming more powerful and efficient every year.